Here's a move you're going to have a lot of fun with, the air loop. We're back to flying again, folks. Now you can fly too with the air loop. You'd be surprised just how easy the air loop is compared to what most people think. Here's how we do it. All right, number one, you want to plug in your boat hard and fast in most holes. Just like in baseball, the faster it comes in, the faster it goes out. Secondly, you need to get the bow under, just like for the normal loop, but there's an ideal angle to hit. Number one, if you're too vertical, that when your bow goes under, you'll get turned over on your head quickly without getting pushed up and out of the water. You won't get any air. If you're too flat when you go in and your bow does go under, it'll push you back into the foam and lift you up and out of the hole. Now you need to try to throw your body up and towards the green water, not up and backwards to launch your boat in front of the foam. That initiates the flip part of the loop. Now as soon as you feel like your stern's about to hit the water, start bringing your body back. Essentially what you're doing is pushing the, the bow down away from you, which sets it down flat on the water. It is possible to do a front loop where you don't lean back on the landing. By leaning back on the takeoff, you just get your body as high as possible before you tuck. So the higher you start your body and the harder you throw your body down, the higher your boat will go. Some common mistakes on the air loop. Number one is just staying on your foot braces too long. So you get the bow down and you go for the ender and you're high up in the air. By the time you tuck, you've lost your momentum and you can't get the boat to flip. It just doesn't rotate very fast because you're too late. Another problem is when the bow is just starting to hit the water, often people push down on their feet when they go to lean back and that just rotates the boat forward and causes you to flip on your head. The back loop is a super cool move because when you first catch your stern in the water and you back ender, you're looking straight at the sky. And then often the bow comes through really smooth, making it an awesome move. Now the back loop is more difficult than the front loop, but only because it's harder to time when the stern hits and it's also harder to keep straight. To do it, you'll get to the top of the pile and start dropping in. Try to look over your shoulder if you aren't sure where you are. Use a rudder on one side to keep the boat straight. You'll want to lean back early to get your stern down. As soon as you feel it catch, hold your body forward with your stomach muscles as you feel the boat get kicked by the green water. This is what allows you to get kicked upwards. Now when your boat is upside down on top of you, hopefully in the air, bring your knees to your chest as hard as you can. This engages the bow on the green water. Now when your bow catches, keep your body forward and use your paddle to hold the boat straight. Getting air requires the right entry angle and your weight to stay forward when you're getting pushed upwards. Enjoy this one.